Hello and welcome to this Fallout 4 settlement tour video. This is Extreme Wackazoid and today we are looking at Nordhagen Beach. This is on a PS4. I'm using a number of mods which are listed below. And as you can see with Nordhagen Beach, is it is a beach and there's a large uh, just beachfront area and uh, it's a sandy area. It's a large build area also, and so there's a lot to play around with, and so hopefully this will give you a few ideas of what you can do with the space. So I did want to be informed by the uh, area and uh, when I was building, and so uh, it is a beachfront property that I built. Uh, one of the first things I do when I build an area is decide where I'm going to put my power source. And so I always put it up high if I can, and I definitely protect it because attackers will go after it. And so my power source is in here with some concrete around it. And so attackers um, can only hit it with a grenade pretty much. These are uh, defense turrets as mini gun as well as heavy laser. And I raise them up on these ball track supports so that melee attackers can't go after it. And um, up here uh, you can actually have a lot of fun with this little shack I've been able to build like a whole barn structure around it but uh, with this uh, build I just pretty much left it alone kept the beds in there put a file cabinet in there all my settlers are growing mute fruit it is the most efficient food to grow it's one food per plant and I uh, gave them all these coarser outfits. Uh, I like to have them all wear the same outfits in the settlement. Looks kind of creepy uh, with ballistic weave to, for added protection. Usually I give them a hat with ballistic weave, but with these settlers I gave them metal helmets. And so I put a couple of water purifiers here. You can fit a lot of water purifiers at Nordhagen Beach if you like. But I figure it's a little more realistic just to have one or two. I have just about eight, I think nine settlers of this, which is just uh, efficient. It seems more realistic to me. It's just the efficient number of um, farmers, uh, four vendors, and one provisioner. And so I'm showing you this beachfront space. I uh, put some added direct decorations to kind of keep with that theme, like this amp anchor, some buoys. And what I wanted to do was to have a storefront properties that are also the residences of each settler. And so like this general store, his, his bed is, is right there behind him. And also to have these um, kind of beachfront decorations. So this is the junk vendor. Uh, what I like to do with these tier three vendors is to place items in the shelves so it looks like they're actually selling something. And with these uh, shelves, I actually build the shelf out here, and then I use a select all trick with a concrete pillar to raise and lower the shelf while I place items on it with uh, the OC decorator mod. And so here's the residence there, and uh, there's another bed in here. And what I wanted to do also is to have a beachfront area for each settler so you know they can come and rest out here if they'd like so there's some um, airplane seats as well as some like card tables uh, so they can look out uh, over the water so I will show you each of these different storefronts and so with the clinic vendor again there's some supplies there in the shelf with a gurney and a wheelchair and then here's the residents here. I like to give them uh, like a duffel bag or a suitcase underneath their bed so that they have like a go bag. I think if I lived in a wasteland, I would want a go bag so that uh, I could leave if I needed to very quickly. And so here is uh, the kind of lounging area with um, some seats and some card tables there as well. So it's a bunch of different materials. I like to have a bunch of different build materials so it looks junky like the settlers actually did just go and um, grab stuff and build with it so here's this uh, lounge area also and if you know about interior doors they are kind of hard to build but uh, the trick I do typically is to make the game kind of think that that is the edge and so just build the floor out to there and the ceiling out to there 
and then typically you can snap in walls and then continue to build after that. So here is the clothing vendor space. Again, I put items in the shelves and uh, put up these uh, armor stands so that it looks like they're actually selling clothing. And uh, there's some like diving equipment and things like that right there. I always like to have a restaurant because settlers will come and congregate here after a hard day's work and they'll line up at the bar uh, to buy food and then they'll come and sit down and, and it looks like they're eating. And so I want, this is a very large restaurant compared to my others. I like to have these f ceiling fan lighting to keep it cool and this is a lot of open space. Um, just to kind of have a nice breeze out there and so if you set up these bars with these bar stools they will come in and sit there and, and take a look out over the water which looks pretty cool at night and so I like to give them a functioning looking restaurant if I if I have the space and so here's a grill a sink a refrigerator oven a cabinetry and I use OC decorator to place these objects uh, this is some like fishing equipment here and a fish bucket which is kind of gross and here's the actual residence with these little half walls which you can just place there it won't necessarily snap but you can typically fit them in and then here's our restroom area as well so there's a uh, a couple toilets there and um, a sink here and I think that, yeah there's a shower right there with lighting above it and so I'll just do another kind of quick tour over this beachfront property and so here I was able to build the wooden uh, floors all the way into the ground so if you want to do that you just have to make sure it kind of snaps all into place and so I was able to put the large floors there and then kind of the smaller ones in there as well so it just goes straight into the sand so hopefully this will give you a few ideas of what you can do if you like what you see hit like and favorite the channel. Thank you.